happy Thanksgiving! It is Thanksgiving morning, it's like 11 a.m. I've been cooking for like two and a half days now, and uh, I'm doing like an appetizer breakfast this morning before dinner, because we're eating an early dinner, and the appetizers are ready, the turkey's almost done, I've got some things on the stove, and really all I have left to do is to mix up the stuffing and throw it in the oven, and then cook two things that have to be done on the stove, and then I'm done. So I wanted to show you my appetizer table and some of the favors that I'm going to be giving out. I've made everything, it's all done, it's ready to go and um, now we just get to enjoy the day. So I wanted to show you the appetizer table. So this is uh, like our breakfast this morning. I've done a cheese board of sorts. So we've got, uh, I, I did three different kinds of cheese balls, well, four different kinds of cheese balls really. So I made the base cheese ball and then I rolled, oh my god, my nails are terrible. <laughs> I've been cooking and rolling dough and everything else. I gotta take this polish off. Anyway, so uh, I did four different kinds of cheese balls. The base cheese ball is the same, and then I rolled some in chives, some in cranberries, some in bacon, and then some in bacon and chive. So we've got the cheese bar, cheese board here with a selection of meats. I've got some um, prosciutto, some regular ham, some turkey, and some pepperoni. Actually, let me start down here at this end. Uh, we've got crackers, and two kinds of figs, and dried apricots, and mixed nuts. More crackers. This is a tomato bisque soup, individual little um, tiny servings of soup. Then the cheese board with the meats. And then back here we've got sliced apples. We've got red apple, green apple, and pear. Red and green grapes. Whoops, get back over there. Um, grape tomatoes and green olives and black olives. And then an assortment of toppings. So we've got Dijon mustard, honey mustard, bacon jam, fig jam, and a ghoul wine spread. For those of you who don't know, ghoul wine is the mold wine that you get at the German Christmas markets. And then, obviously, the tablescape is lit up, the candles burning, got the little plates set out here for the appetizers, and I have a set of reindeer plates, it's um, all the different reindeer. Then these are the favors, so this is the little wishbones that I made, the chocolate peppermint wishbones and um, handwritten little tags and these are the little mini loaves of gingerbread that I made so everyone will get to take one of these home everyone will get to take one of these home and uh, I've also got some games set up in the living room let me show you so this is one of the games that I have set up. It's guess how many. So there's a mixture of candy corn and the candy corn colored white chocolate M&Ms in this little cup. And so guests will write their name and how many they think are in the container. And then the prize is the container. And then I've got another prize here for another game that I'm doing. This is six little party light votive candles. Um, we've got some little jingle bells hidden all over my house. Look, I'll show you one. Don't tell anybody. So we've got these little jingle bells hidden all over my house and the person who finds the most will win the little gift bag of uh, candles. And then this is the table that we've got for dinner. So this is where we're actually gonna be sitting to eat. And at the table, each place setting has a stone and I've got uh, gold and silver markers going around the table with some extra stones so that people can write what they're thankful for. And then closer to dinner time, I'm gonna light these candles. So we've got some uh, vases filled with green split peas and uh, red, not kidney beans. I, okay, little red kidney beans and dried popcorn. And then candles on the top of that. Large pine cone with some fake fall flowers and little pine cone rosettes and some other dried corn. So this is the table we'll actually be eating at. And then I just have the mantle decorated very simply with some faux foliage, some fake fucking flowers, and um, some beaded garland. So that's it. That is the full decoration. You can see we have the parade on and Thanksgiving is in full swing. I'm so excited. 
I've gone totally overboard. It's a Clark Griswold Thanksgiving and I'm loving every second of it. So I'll be back in a little while to show you the spread for dinner. This is my fall tablescape. I think this is probably the most beautiful tablescape I've ever done. I don't normally do shit like this, but I'm pretty fucking proud of this. I actually really love it a lot. So uh, I have several layers of fabric here. You can see I've got like a sheer red fabric and then these are all like silky satiny. This one's a nice deep brown. This one is like a champagne and this one is a uh, light orange, almost a yellow color. And then I have a large wooden bowl here in the middle with real pine cones and fresh real apples and a large candle right in the middle. Then along the runner here is some faux pine garland and a string of flashing lights strung all through. And then tucked in, I've got uh, this is a real dried gourd that I dried in Sicily, and so when you shake it, the, the seeds rattle around in there. I actually kind of use it as a rattle, um, but I stuck that on the table. I've got little faux lime, orange, and apples here, and you can see they're really tiny, and they are strategically placed. These are fresh dried apple slices. I dried these myself. Some faux fall flowers in different colors. There's orange, yellow, and red. These are real berries. They're not holly berries, they're not elderberries. I can't think of what they're called, but these are fresh berries. They're more real fresh pine cones tucked in through here. Uh, let me actually come on the other side to show you a little bit better. Then I've got some strategically placed faux gourds. I wanted real ones, but for some reason the stores aren't selling gourds anymore. You have to buy your gourds in like October. You can't have them at Thanksgiving, which makes no fucking sense to me, but whatever. Thankfully I found these little faux gourds and I just have them kind of tucked in along the, the runner here. So we've got the pine, the lights, the fresh berries, the apples, the flowers, the gourds, um, and the little faux fruits. And then in the middle, I've got my little pilgrim husband and wife, and she's got her apron folded up with little fruits and vegetables that they harvested. And he went and hunted down a turkey. So I don't know if you can see it, damn it. But he's got a dead turkey. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? I love it. That is the coolest Thanksgiving decoration I've ever seen. So yeah, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've probably already seen this, but I wanted to show you anyway. And I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see how it looks with the lights out. It's so pretty! Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! I love it. This is my altar. It is sitting right under some photos of my grandparents. And I know the lighting is is not good in here. Sorry. I hope you can see it all right though. But I just have I just really wanted to show you this. It's a plate that I have set on my altar with some fresh apple slices that I sprinkled with just a little bit of cinnamon around each apple and then I placed a single fresh cranberry right in the center of each apple. Um, there's like a quarter of a fresh pomegranate with some pomegranate seeds just sprinkled around the plate and I've just left that out as an offering here on my altar and um, it's all fresh so it's all still really juicy but hopefully they will dry out. I also have fresh pomegranate seeds in my dehydrator right now. I don't know if they're going to work or not but I figured I would give it a try and, and see how they went. I don't know. If it works, it works. If not, oh well, I didn't really lose anything. So um, I have fresh pomegranate seeds in the dehydrator with some orange slices. I may add a couple of the orange slices to the outside edges of the plate, but I'm not really sure yet. So that is the offering for Thanksgiving that I have on my altar. You know, I'm almost finished with the fucking project and then I remember, oh, I'm supposed to be vlogging all this. <laughs> Shit. So one of the treats that I'm giving everyone is these little wish bones. So I took some candy melts, just the little regular candy melts, and the ones that I'm using are actually white chocolate with peppermint in them because it's white and they've got the little red flecks which I thought was pretty cool to make them look like bones. Uh, and you're, you just melt it down in a double broiler in the microwave and then uh, this is what you use to make... Um, the lollipops and other 
dipped candies and stuff. So it's just those melted down. And I put it into a little baggie and twisted it down. And it's still kind of runny, which is why I've got it kind of setting off to the side over there until I can talk about it. Um, and you can see I'm still wearing my rubber gloves because it was very hot when I put it into the baggie. It was really too hot to touch. So all I did was melt it down, put it into the baggie, and I'm literally just drawing some wishbone shapes here. Oops, so it's kind of drippy still. Let me start that one again. <laughs> Shit, it's hard to do this with one hand on camera. So I'm literally just drawing the wishbone shape with the, I hope I'm on camera enough. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Try to do another one. And they're not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. They're still gonna be cute. And they're still gonna taste good, even if they're ugly. <laughs> and I have this laying on a, uh, it's actually, I think, a, a mat that you roll out pie crust and stuff on. And I just wiped it down with a little bit of coconut oil so that the wishbones wouldn't stick to it. And I'm really just making like little V's with the butt, V's with the tail. So those are gonna be the wish ones. And then once they cool, let me see if I can get my glove off. Or not. Once they cool, they look like this. They're really cool. And I have some that I did kind of skinny, like an actual wishbone, but I was really afraid that those were gonna break too soon because the point of this is so that everyone gets to break the wishbone on Thanksgiving, which I love that idea. So I did some really super skinny ones to look like actual wishbones, but then I was worried that they were gonna break before people got them. Uh, you know, just from being in the baggie. So then I started doing them a little bit thicker. And you can see like this one is not perfect. It has that little, little tip right here and you can just break that off before you serve it. So that's one of the treats that I'm giving. Dinner's ready! So I'm just gonna do really quickly because everyone's starving. I'm like an hour behind but I just wanted to show you quickly what I have. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, so I did two turkeys. This is one of them right here. Chris is gonna carve the turkey as people come around. Got a huge pan of Homemade stuffing made with homemade bread. If I can get it open. There we go. Giblet stuffing. Twice baked potato casserole. Apple cider. Spiked if you like. Then here's the table. Here's the big spread. We've got deviled eggs, fresh homemade cranberry sauce, toast salad. I'll explain that later. Uh, sauteed peas with uh, onion and bacon, caramelized onion and bacon, sweet potatoes, carrots, and homemade bread, plus some giblet gravy down there in the turkey, I mean in the rooster. Oh my god, we are starving. I'm an hour late. I'm going to eat. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so I've just called everyone in for dessert, but I wanted to show you what we've got. We've got, we made four pumpkin pies. This, I should have got done the damn video before I cut the fucking pumpkin pie, but my husband made all the desserts this year for the first time ever, so it's really cool. He made a pumpkin pie, and he actually made a turkey. I don't know if you can tell it was a turkey, because I've cut the pie now, but it was a beautiful little turkey. He did some pears with maple syrup and granola and then some little baked apples with apple pie, homemade apple pie filling in the middle. And then my sister-in-law brought a cake. So we've got all kinds of goodies here for dessert. Yum.